Hello Degenerates, and today we are going to be talking about how to deal with certain gimmicks. Um, this is something that I've noticed like a lot of people have been complaining about. Um, a lot of people have been claim, uh, complaining about like certain character attributes. It's going to happen with basically every single Smash Tag game that's coming out. And um, I wanted to dive directly into one of them that actually has a lot of very significant uh, neutral impact. Um, today, the one that we're going to be talking about are the gimmicks that are concerning with uh, King K. Rool. Um, those of you guys that have probably fought him at this point know that he has a lot of really, really good armor. His projectiles are pretty good for the most part. Um, but the thing is, there are weaknesses to them and there are game plays around them. And today, I want to talk about what those game plans are and exactly how to deal with them. Um, and how to counter them if you're playing as k uh, But first, we're going to talk about how to counter these gimmicks in particular. So let's get right into the gameplay. Okay. So I'm going to up training mode. And um, the, the main things I want to focus on with this one are uh, specifically with uh, K-Rule's armor. So um, the, if you guys don't know, uh, the way that K-Rule's armor works is that during certain moves um, that he has abilities where his belly armor will just like uh, just go right through everything. Uh, the only thing I don't know is if you... Actually, I don't know what happens if you hit him not where the belly is. So... Um, special yeah okay so I think it's only if I do it from the front oh, wait, no, it's really important there. I should do side smash <laughs> yeah so in that case there let's see what happens if we do it this way yeah so if you hit specifically where his belly is if you hit behind him then you don't have to worry about that so um, that is one thing to take into consideration, is if you are not hitting the belly, you don't exactly have to worry about that armor at all. Um, but regardless, the armor itself is extremely good. Did I set the camera to fix? Okay, no, I did it. Good. Um, actually, does it show it off? Yeah, it was just an invisibility. Oh god, I did mess up the camera somehow. There we go. Cool, now we're all good. Um, so yeah, basically the armor, it can take about 28% uh, is, I believe, what I've heard. Um, let's see, I think, we can set, I think we can set this up pretty... Uh, I can put them into control. Actually, that's going to be a little bit hard to do. If I had it as cable set up, then I think it would be a little easier. Uh, but yeah, from what I've heard is 28% is about what this belly is able to withstand. Um, Actually, I think if we go to Ganondorf, we can get an exact number. So if G Ganondorf is able to break this armor with like a full charge F smash, um, then one of those ones. Not, then it, it'll, it'll at least take like two hits to do it. Uh, maybe even really, I think really is a strong. I think really is a strong. Yeah, that, that should be easy enough to time. Okay, uh, let's set him to side smash. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So when you do enough damage, it's just gonna straight up break it. Um, how much damage does that do? Let's see. Okay, that does 32, yeah. So um, definitely that at least is the 28%. It might, maybe it might be slightly higher, uh, but basically around that zone is when you're able to break it. It is not by the number of hits, like I said initially in my first analysis video, it is by damage. Uh, so keep that in mind. The more damage you do to it, the longer it takes to heal as well. Um, so, you want to keep in mind how much damage you're doing to that belly, because that's going to basically limit what he can do. If you're playing a character like Inkling, chances are he's going to be able to armor through that pretty consistently. Uh, you need to make sure you have high damaging aerials, or just high damaging moves that can hit this belly, like when either he's doing F-Tilt or what he's doing there. Uh, if you're trying to hit F-Tilt, you have to keep in mind you're just going to get punished. Nair, same thing as well, but you, Nair you can at least base around. F-Tilt, not as much. This thing has a ridiculous amount of range to it. Um, as you can see right here, like, that was able to hit him. Um, I think we can be like, probably this far? Yep. Let's see actually how far this can go. Okay, so basically, it, it's basically like two squares. Two full two full blocks away, you can, you're can you able to hit them. And that's going to outspace just um, a lot of moves in general. So, F-Tilt, you're going to probably go for a trade unless you have a projectile that can beat it out. Something like uh, Charge Shot. Um, or something that's long that nature. Actually, charge shot. Let's see if charge shot breaks armor. That's actually something I don't know. First of all, I gotta see how much damage charge shot even does. Um, same as 
And honestly, yeah, if Charge Shot's able to break it, then you have a great tool against Kayroll, if anything. <laughs> or if not, like, you deal most of the damage and you just up air him, so that way he can't, uh, nair. So, set to controls. Alright, so how much damage do you First of all. So that is 33%. That should just straight up, that should just straight up break it. Yeah. There we go. So, let's see if we can get... So let's see if this is able to break it. Oh, dang it! I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to double tap it. I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna set this thing to um, one, two, three. Okay. So now I'm gonna set this to frame one. So. Oh man, he's buffering F Smash. Dang it. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. One, two, three. Wait, is his arm just disjointed? Hold up, I don't. Let me set up a. Uh... No, his arms aren't disjointed at all. Maybe, maybe during up tilt though. Okay, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I saw it. No, that was his smash. Yeah, okay, so his arms... Okay, his... That's really weird. His fist isn't disjointed, but his arm is. That makes absolutely no sense to me. Yeah, so the fist isn't disjointed, so you actually might be able to hit that. That's strange. But okay, we're here to talk about his belly. Um, so yeah, make sure that you get... Um... Ah, dang it, he's doing that again. You know what, we're just gonna we're gonna just skip the frame by frame because I think I I think I can do this wrong. Okay, so there. One, two, three. I think I did the, I think I got the twenty-four percent there. One, two, three, okay. And I think Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so now one, two, three, four. Oops. Okay, so that was 26. So one, two, three, four. So wait, did 26 break it? Or did I get the full charge shot? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that did one, two, three, four. So that did 28. So, okay, so it's basically. I, either it like 28 is the maximum it can take before it breaks or 28 is like when it breaks so somewhere around there because uh, you know we were able to break it without going full charge so i think 28 is a pretty a pretty safe um number to go by um so yeah keep in mind how much damage your do your moves do so that way you can break through f tilt pressure if he's trying to get you um though if he's this close um and you're you're wanting to say like that he might be able to throw out a counter so that should be pretty easy to read but yeah, the biggest thing that you want to do is you want to taking it. You want to remember how much damage you're doing to this belly. So if you're thinking he's gonna throw out an F tilt or he's gonna throw out an air, uh, think about how much damage you're trading with him. So that way, um, the main part where that's gonna come into big play is when he's trying to land with air, because like let's say, oh, I've done 15% to him, and you know my up air can do. Wait, can I? I'm gonna have to put it back to control. <laughs> and like let's see, so. Let's reset this. So if I jump with K roll. 
Okay, so my up air can do 13%. So once I know I've done 15% to K roll, that means I know I could throw out my up air and I may be able to break it. Um, though this, uh, Samus's up air does have multi hits, so I think, I think, uh, K roll's nair would just win. Um, I can actually test that out right now. Okay, so until, actually that was able to just go right through it. Wow. So let's, let's try that again. Oops. Actually, let me... Now, this one I can go into frame by frame. Okay, so let's see how this interaction plays out. Okay, so as long as the hitbox hits Samus, um, hits through the multi-hits, like he's able to um, hit the hurt box with his Nair, then his Nair is going to win. So you need to keep in mind what move exactly you're hitting him with. Ideally, multi-hits are not going to be the way that you want to go with dealing with him. So if he has something like Samus's up air or like Duck Hunt's up air or any, any multi-hitting up air, that's not going to be the move you want to use to deal with Cable's Nair. If anything, he'll probably just go through you. So that's a little bit rough. You're going to want to try to hit it with like a back air. Um, just any move that has like a big single hit that's strong. Like Cable's back air is insane. Um, that's what you're going to try to hit it with. So characters that will probably do good. Ganondorf should do really good against this armor. Falcon to a degree too. Um, I think it, I don't think it'll be hard for him to like break the belly. We've seen like uh, Nair do a really good job of damaging it. I, actually, I imagine Ganondorf's Nair actually might just be able to straight up break it. Um, like, oh, man. Just kind of nutty. Um, the other thing, too, with his Nair is, you know, if you know that... He, if a K roll is mindlessly always landing like this, um, one thing that you can do is you can just straight up parry it. So... Let me buffer a Nair here. And now let's uh, get this parry out. Okay, see, now I'm able to parry a Samus. And let's see what type of punishes I can even do here. So, I'm going to assume I can probably down smash him. And I'm going to be holding shield as K roll. And yeah, down smash comes out. So, yeah, you have a you have a pretty good amount of frame advantage over uh, K roll um, when this is happening. Um, let's actually let's actually break down to see how much of a frame advantage you even have. So, I'm going to hold shield as Samus again. Fast fall, let go. Okay, he's parried. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shield to Samus so we can know how much earlier Samus is able to act when comparing to K. Roll. So Samus was able to uh, shield there, so I think that was like two frames. Um, so like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so 17 frames. About 17 frame advantage over K. Roll if you parry his Nair. So, knowing that mix-up is going to help you immensely with dealing this character. Like, let's say, oh, I'm always going to juggle him. Well, he's just going to nair through you. Especially if you have those multi-hit up airs, he is just not going to care. Um, even to an extent, like, he, like you know, Samus has a multi-hit um, up smash. And K. Rool can just nair through that all day. Oops, let me... Let me, let's get Samus up right here. So, up smash... And there. Look, so I armor that, and now um, Samus is punished. It didn't even crack his belly. That's how much damage it didn't do, because it only dealt with the multi hits. It just was like, no, nah, fuck you. <laughs> so, yeah, keep that in mind. You do not want a multi hit up, up smash to deal with um, this armor, because it will just straight up break it. Uh, focus on pairing if you are a multi hit character. That's going to carry you through quite a bit. Uh, or if you have a character that can trap and be safe, um, like Duck Hunt's uh, shield can method, uh, grenade, uh, Snake's grenade should be really good against this too. Like if you're shielding with Snake and you just have grenades out, um, then yeah, you're just going to be able to punish this all day long. Um, not going to be having, not that's not going to be something that you should have too much trouble dealing with. Um, but yeah, that's basically the main strategies that you want to use against this armor. Keep in mind how much damage you're doing into it. The main moves you're going to see it with is. Um, Nair, and then F-Tilt, and then the other one is Side-B as well. Um, show it down in a frame-by-frame. Frame. Let's, let's bring back the... 
press one frame. So we're gonna buffer side B out of Samus. Now I'm gonna buffer side B out of K rule. Hopefully this the missile goes through. I don't know if the crown's just gonna straight up win. Yeah, okay, the crown wins. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's have, let's have K rule. Let's K rule buffer the crown. Let's jump with Samus. Oh, that was actually kind of smooth. Now, let's buffer our back here with Samus. Nope, that's that missed. <laughs> Actually, I think if I hold shield, I think, uh, uh, hold on, let's reset that. <laughs> so if I hold shield, okay, good. So now, Samus, I should be able to just F tilt him. No, not F smash, F tilt. Ah, dang it. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. So, Samus. Side B. Okay, roll. Let's hold shield to Samus and let's parry this. Okay. And now. Ah, uh, this. Nah. Okay, that just should have hit him. Okay, let's just let's make let's make sure we're facing K roll when we do this. We're gonna just jab him. <laughs> Now, shield, one, two, three, parry, yes, and now I can, bu I can now I can buffer jab. <laughs> okay, see, so there, he has some armor right there. So, when he's throwing that out, this will probably be the other time that you're going to be hitting him the most, is during this animation. Um, Yeah, I'm holding out jab as both of these characters, but yeah, they had him, the, the the armor doesn't last forever So only if you hit him with like a really strong wave you have to be worried about it But then you also have to worry about that crown coming back to you and that's how he's gonna get his real punish on you um, So definitely one of the things that you guys need to keep in mind with this move is that uh, side B is extremely laggy I see a lot of people spam the crap out of this move and they just kind of get away with it uh, but you need to keep in mind exactly like how punishable of a move this really is, because like you can just you can just hit him. There's not something that he can really do about it. Um, let's we can break this frame by frame. So now I'm gonna hold jump with Samus. Now. And I'm gonna back air. And I'm gonna hold shield as K roll. Okay, this, so there I was able to get it. Um, I didn't really do the timing proper on there. Uh, but the thing is, like, once you get around crown, and you can also catch it as well. I don't know if you can catch it with jab. Let's see. Okay, not sure. How do you can catch the crown? I'm trying to think about... I'm trying to see if you can actually catch it in midair, because I'm pretty sure you can. I'm gonna try it this way. I'm trying to catch it with the dash attack there, because that, that was something that you could do back in Smash 4. with the dash attack um so that's not gonna be a method that you're gonna be able to use maybe with air dodge let's see So there, I tried to buffer the air dodge to catch it, but it didn't work. So the main thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to parry and then just like short hop, 
Short up over the short up over the Actually, let me just buffer the short hop aerials because then that'll be an easier way to test to see if you can just do that. Yeah. So, yeah, you can just short up over the aerials and then um, over the crown, and you should be able to hit him. And it shouldn't be that hard to just run up and nair him or something like that. So, keep that in mind with the crown. Just remember, there's going to be a returning hitbox to it, so you are going to have to mind that. If you're on a platform stage, that's probably ideally where you're going to want to take him so the crown ends up on the on the platforms themselves and once you do pick up the crown you are able to throw it back at him and do a lot of damage which that's been covered extensively in a lot of videos like it's such a good neutral tool for him that you want to take it away as much as possible if you're a villager or isabel you can pocket the crown and you don't even have to take it out anymore and you could just prevent him from being able to use that indefinitely so that's actually at least pretty busted that you can do against him um but yeah so far those are kind of the two main gimmicks with him uh, the other thing too is um, edge guarding K rule. I know a lot of people have trouble just dealing with this uh, propeller in particular. So the main way that you're going to want to edge guard him is you just need to hit him horizontally, because um, he has a really good hitbox above him. But to the side of him, he doesn't really have too much. The, mo the most that he's going to do is he's going to toss out the crown as he's recovering, and then he's going to up you back up. And then at that point, he doesn't have the crown anymore, and then you can go pick that up from him and then take it, which is definitely something that you should do. Um, but yeah, um, with that, that is going to be it for this video. So remember, um, track your damage on when you're dealing with this armor. Think about what moves that you're going to do in particular to break it. If that is the method you're going to go. And also just remember to bait it out. Um, get used to parrying this nair or just like spacing around it. Because let's see how much landing line this has. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it has 9 frames of landing lag, so it's still pretty quick, but you can definitely get around to whiff punishing it if, um, if you want. So, learn the spacing for this so you can just, like, get back in and dash attack it, and, because, like, you know, he only goes so far if he's nearing, but if he's following with, uh, fair, then that's a different story. So, if he's mixing it up, it'll be harder to tell, but if he's always landing with there, kind of, like, brain dead, you know what all your options are. Parry, or just straight up break it. Know your percents, know your damage. And, um... Yeah, no, that's going to do it with this one. Uh, ne the next one that I'm going to be covering is how to deal with Isabelle's Lloyd Rocket and her fishing pole. With that said, see you in the next one.